to another episode of Vet Talk. I'm Brother Vincent. I'm an Army veteran. And today we are talking about the VA survivor's pension. But before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. You can find more content from Vet Talk only on YouTube. And if you're a veteran, love to share your story or resource with veterans and non-veterans who would love to share your resource with veterans, please feel free to contact me ASAP so we can schedule a meeting. Now we, now that we gotten that out the way, let's get into this topic, man. So again, today we are talking about the VA survivor's pension. And what I want you to understand is that the VA survivor pension is a benefit offered to qualified surviving spouses and unmarried dependent children of wartime veterans who meet specific income and net worth limits set by Congress. To be eligible for this benefit, the veteran must have met specific service requirements and the surviving spouse or children must meet income and net worth limits set by Congress. If you're a surviving spouse, you may be eligible for this benefits if you haven't remarried after the veteran's death and if the deceased veteran didn't receive a dishonorable discharge. Additionally, the veteran must have at least one of the service requirements outlined by Congress. If you are the child of a deceased wartime veteran, you may be eligible for this benefits if you are unmarried and meet specific requirements based on your age or disability. To apply for the VA survivor's pension, you can do so in several ways. You can work with a trained professional called an accredited representative to get help applying for VA survivor's pension benefits. You can also apply online using the quick start tool through access VA to upload your form online. Alternatively, you can fill out an application for DIC, death pension, and or occurred benefits, VA form 21P-534E, and mail your complete application to the Pension Intake Center. It is important to note that the VA survivor pension claims are processed in the order they are received Unless a claim requires priority processing, the length of time it takes for the VA to make a decision varies based on several factors. In conclusion, if you're a surviving spouse or unmarried dependent child of a wartime veteran who meets certain service requirements, you may be eligible for a VA survivor's pension. To apply for this benefit, you can work with a accredited representative, apply online, or fill out an application and mail it into the pension intake center. So now that I've talked about all that, I'm going to actually give you a step-by-step -step of how to go about doing this from the VA.gov website. So as you can see, we're on the VA.gov website. And this topic, again, is the VA survivor's pension. And right here, they have all of the eligibility requirements that you must meet in order for you to receive VA survivor's pension. So as you can see, the one of the questions somebody may ask is, am I eligible for VA survivor's pension as a surviving spouse? And it says you may be eligible for this benefits if you haven't remarried after the veteran's death. And if the deceased veteran didn't receive a dishonorable discharge, and their service meets at least one of these requirements. At least one of these one of these must be true. The veteran entered active duty on or before September 7th, 1980, and served at least 90 days on, on active military service with at least one day during a covered war time period. Or the veteran entered active duty after September 7th, 1980 and served at least 24 months or the full period of which they were called or ordered to active duty with some exceptions with at least one day during a covered wartime period or the veteran was an officer and served on active duty after October 16th, 1981 and hadn't previously served on active duty for at least 24 months. And right here, you can learn more about the covered wartime periods. And I guess I can click on it and see what periods are covered. So these are the actual periods that are covered for pension benefits. You can see that they got the Mexican, the Mexican border period. They got the World War I, the World War II, 
the Korean conflict, the Vietnam era, and then the Gulf War. And these are the ones that they approved of for pension. So if you served during these war times, these are the war times that were approved of for survivors pension. That's pretty cool. So if you didn't notice, this is the time period that got covered. And so the next question um, is, and th this must be true for you, your yearly family income and net worth meet certain limits set by Congress. Your net worth equals the value of everything you own except, except your house, your car, and most home furnishing minus any debt you owe. Am I eligible for survivor's pension as the child of a deceased wartime veteran? You may be eligible for this benefits if you're unmarried and meet at least one of these requirements. At least one of these must be true. You're under age 18 or you're under age 23 and attend a VA approved school or you're unable to care for yourself due to a disability that happens before age 18. So this is basically what you need to ensure that is um, valid for your situation for the VA survivor's pension. And it says, um, how do I apply for a VA survivor's pension? You can apply in any of these ways. You can apply with the help of a trained professional. You can work with a trained professional calling a accredited representative to get help applying for VA survivor's pension. Or you can come right here and click get help filling out claim. Online, you can use the um, quick submit to through access VA to upload your form. So right here, you click on this and this is where you can go ahead and um, you know get quick access to fill out that form. Um, by mail, you can uh, file an application for DIC, death pension, and or acute benefit occurred benefits VA form 21P-534 easy. And you can get the form right here by clicking on this button right here. I'm going to try to put these things in the description for those who may not have access to all of this so that they can have this form. And all you have to do is mail it into this address right here. And once you do that, the process can get started. And again, how long does it take? It depends on um, basically the process, man. You know, um, as far as just them getting the information in and the time that it takes for them to review it, it just, it just may take time. But I just wanted to make sure that, you know, for all those veterans out there who may not know anything about these benefits that they would, you know, actually know where to go to um, obtain these benefits or for those veterans who didn't even know that they could obtain these type of benefits, especially all of those people who, you know, um, had a family member that served during the Gulf War, Vietnam era, um, Korean conflict, World War One and Two and the Mexican border period, which is something that I'm going to be honest to you is quite new to me because I never knew anything about, you know, um, military personnel being at the Mexican border, um, during the time. So again, this is, you know, information for those who don't know nothing about this, because as I always state that there are a lot of veterans out there like myself who actually don't know a lot about what's really going on behind the closed doors at the VA and there's a lot of different things that, you know, people qualify for, but because nobody sits down with you and talk about these things, a lot of times, you know, we assume that, Hey, I'm not, you know, eligible for this benefits and for that benefit. And then somebody tell you something and you find out like, Hey, I do qualify. And now you can either get on board or you can still go without so as always man you know this has been another episode with your boy brother vince from vet talk my good people vet talk out <laughs>